Hey, good morning, everybody. Sorry, Pedro here for PG's Continuing Journey Channel. I'm on my way to the office right now. Let's watch my step here. So, for those in the holiday spirit, I should say, who are not in the holiday spirit, guess what? It's okay not to be okay. I know I've had many moments of that over the past three years. And for me, Christmas 2020. Beginning in it. Christmas 2022 is not about Santa Claus or family time or holiday music or this is or any of the Christmas holiday tradition. It's about getting to the end of 2022 as fast as I can. Reason being, 2020 to 2022 represents my second darkest period ever in my entire weight loss and wellness journey. This January, I'm approaching my 51st birthday and also my 17th weight loss anniversary. I don't know how I managed to make it this far after my going through two different dark periods between 2012 and 2015 when I was going through uh, some financial problems and this, this, and that. My life life was happening and changing the 360 and coming out as a gay man the next one the next start period was of course the pandemic COVID-19 restrictions Trump America this this and that and life happening throughout the past few months and speaking of life happening after being the victim of subway crime back in May which I posted about a few months ago Seven months ago now, I'm happy to announce that I finally got some replacement lens for my gla regular glasses. My aunt hooked me up with the frame, so I just had to get the lenses, and I got a great deal out of it. So shout out to my auntie, shout out to Merck and Vision. Thank you all my, for helping me get my vision back today. So now what I want to get back is to my goal in pre-pandemic weight, anywhere between 203 and 215. And that's like I said, I have to be more focused than ever. I just had this as a snack. Um, protein bars, I've been, I do this from time to time because I want to avoid any foods from the cafeteria that are not helping me, any foods that I'm not supposed to be eating right now. Speaking of food, big non-scale victory here was that um, when I was um, on my way after, after work to get my new lenses at at Merkin Vision, my eye doctor, it was a big non-scale victory for me that I did not eat pizza, as I was pointing out to. I waited till I got home, and I did a little, and I ate, just had a sandwich and, excuse me, veggie straws. I did, however, treat myself to a couple of fried, fried um, catfish, or what they call it, referred to as bacalaitos. So I'm very proud of myself. And I tried a little bread pudding, but only a quarter cup. Not a full cup, two tablespoons or a quarter cup, whatever you call it, just to get the taste. So I'm very proud of myself. Cause at Chris, Christmas, as I said, Christmas 2022 is not about Santa Claus. It's not about the Christmas tree, it's not, excuse me. This isn't that, this is about getting to the end of the year and saying goodbye to my second darkest period ever in my journey. As I said before, and I'm gonna say it again, I'm in the biggest fight of my entire life to get back to my pre-pandemic weight, to what my life was before the pandemic. You know, no, no, all these restrictions over the past three years took away my social life, took away my possibility of dating someone, and all that. And, I, and of course, I gained 60 pounds. These 60 pounds are gonna be the toughest to lose but I'm on a mission to get there. All right, I'm gonna get ready to head to the office. I'm gonna wrap this up right now. Have a great, terrific Tuesday, and I'll speak to you all later. Peace.